guys, today we're going to be talking about central tendency. Okay, so this is the mean, mode, and median. So when we're talking about mean, we're not talking about, oh, that dude being mean to me. That's not the mean that we're talking about. Okay, now I'll explain the mean, but if you want the explanation of mode and median, go check out my dad's video. Okay. So a mean, so to calculate a mean is when you add all of these numbers together, one, two, and three, which were equal to six, and then you divide six by n. And what is n? The number of numbers. So that'd be just one, two, three. There's three numbers. Okay, so that what we would do is six divided by three, um, which would equal to two. And you know this thing, this X with the line on top? That's what represents mean, in case you were wondering. Okay, so a tendency is basically a natural inclination to do something. Okay, so let me show you an example of what a tendency is. Okay, so this is my brother here, okay? And he has a tendency to talk a lot. So he talks about Legos and the kid and other stuff and blah, 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 blah. So that he has a tendency to talk a lot. Okay. So let's say somebody asked me a question of how many eggs I would usually eat over the weekend. And so we have this chart to help me out. So I ate two eggs on Sunday one egg on Saturday, two eggs on Saturday, and two eggs on Sunday. So what I would do to solve, to answer this question, would be to find the mean. That's what we're doing here. So what I would do is add all these together, two plus one plus two plus two, which would equal seven. And then I divide that by n, which is again the amount of numbers or number of numbers. So 7 divided by 4 would equal to 1.75. But that's a bit of a weird answer, right? Like who would answer with a decimal? Um, so what you would do is you would just round that to the closest total number, which is 2. So we do, you would just answer, oh, I had around 2 eggs. Okay. So let's say I asked that same question to a bunch of kids. Okay, so on this side, we have the number of eggs. And on this side, we have the number of kids. So also, we have this chart here. And on this, this axis, we have the number of eggs. And on this axis, we have the number of kids. Okay. So... Let's look over this information. So one kid had zero eggs. Six kids had one egg. Six kids had two eggs. Two kids had three eggs. And zero kids had four eggs. Okay, so let's see if this graph is accurate to the information we have here. Okay, let's use three eggs and two kids. Okay. So this axis would be for the X. So this would be the three. And then the number of kids was two. So we'd have to meet this up at two. To see if they meet up. Yes, they do. Okay, so this graph is accurate. Okay, so before we calculate the mean, I'm going to estimate the answer before we even do any of that stuff. So I am going to look the center of this graph. See if I can calculate the mean. Okay, so let's just draw a line here. Sorry, this isn't very accurate, but this is just an estimation, so I'll just keep in mind of that. Okay, so this is my line of where I would think of what the mean is, because I'm looking at the center, and I'm just estimating. Okay. So now, Let's actually find the mean and see if we're about right with our estimation. So 
what we'd have to do is multiply these numbers. So what I would do is zero times one would equal to zero each zero. We could add that with one times six is six. Two times six is 12. So just add 12. Three times two is six. Four times zero is zero. Okay, so now we have to add all that up. And we would get 24. Okay, nice. That's not, we still have to do more. That's not it. Okay. So 24, now we have to divide that by the number of numbers, but in this case, we just do the number of kids. Let's add all this together. One plus six plus six plus two plus zero is 15. Okay, so we would get 1.6 six as our answer. Okay, so we got 1.6 as our answer. And now let's check if we got our estimation correct. It's around 1.6. Okay, let's see. So 1.6 would be around here. Yes, we're right. It's between 1 and 2, close to 1.5. So that's pretty accurate. So now we did all of that, not even doing the actual calculations. So you can just look at the center of all the data. You can already find the central tendency. So thank you guys for watching so much and bye.